Welcome to Wonderland Weekly, hosted by Toronto Tai. Now sit back and have a wonderful week. Hey everyone, Toronto Tai back here at Canada's Wonderland once again for another amazing week. Uh, a very hot week though, this is uh, very uncomfortable. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure quite how long I will be staying, but uh, probably just long enough to uh, uh, you know, to check out the progress on Lazy Bear Lodge and uh, all the stuff in Kids Fest, or at least all the stuff that's, uh, that hasn't ended for the day yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'll be able to uh, actually check out some of that stuff today. Uh, and yeah, other than that, just gonna have a very, uh, very warm day. <laughs> I had mentioned it last week. And uh, yeah, All's Well Hall is now open, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, brand new menu, uh, which is great. Uh, and, well, I mean, brand new, but uh, uh, at, at the same time, like this 24-inch uh, uh, pretzel, then that, uh, that was here during um, Oktoberfest uh, last year, at least. Um, but yeah, no, lots of uh, delicious options, but not much of a change in terms of the, you know, the layout or, or decor or anything like that. Uh, the one thing I do believe is that uh, it looks like they are set up to basically have uh, this as a double station. So you've got this side and then that side, when it is busy, will be basically serving the same stuff. Um, I think, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have to wait and see that side. That whole side is uh, currently closed, but it is uh, not very busy in here today, so makes sense. Oh my goodness, if this tastes as good as it looks, oh, this is amazing. So, so happy that this is on the dining plan. A bit of uh, bad news here. I uh, got distracted and uh, Ended up not checking out Kids Fest today. Uh, um, yeah, everything is done for the day, except for Thomas and Friends. Uh, I was a huge fan of Thomas the Tank Engine and uh, Shining Time Station when I was growing up. So, uh, I mean, you all know that I love trains. Uh, so yeah, this is very, very cool to me and uh, very much looking forward to this show. Um, but I really love the, uh, the extra details that they have put on here, like the, uh, uh, yeah, the different um, uh, train storage uh, <laughs> areas with the with the names for all the different trains. That's really really fun, and uh, yeah, I, I really do think that it is great that uh, Kids Fest is able to uh, expand outside of just Kidsville. Starting off this week's Lazy Bear Lodge update, then uh, yeah, I uh, uh, I like that uh, seagull. Uh, piece there. I think that that is a nice... No? No? That's not a theming detail? Alright. But, we do have a tree here. Yes! You know how much I love trees. Uh, <laughs> so that is very, very good to see. Uh, but also we have lampposts here that have been added. Uh, so they are the Frontier Canada style lampposts, which makes sense, even though I don't, I don't, I don't love that decision. But, uh, you know, it's... They, they are still nice lampposts, so... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's just about it, and we still have our, uh, big friend out front here. Getting another look at Lazy Bear Lodge here, uh, just from, uh, uh you know, in between the, uh, the front and the side, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the, uh, lampposts are definitely the key takeaway, plus this tree, uh, and, <laughs> uh, yeah, and also, I am not sure what these are. I assume that those are lights, but uh, yeah, they look kind of odd. Uh, so not quite sure, not not convinced of that. Uh, but yeah, and also you can sort of peek in through here and just see that it is, uh, you know, uh, it's getting there. there there's some uh, decor in there. So that is really, really awesome. Over here on Skyhawk Hill, as I usually am. Uh, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, just getting uh, another look at Lazy Bear Lodge. I almost said Yukon Striker because, well, that's, that, that's honest. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, getting another look at Lazy Bear Lodge. And, yeah, you can see that the, uh, the top of the chimney looks uh, pretty much complete. I don't know. I don't like that little bit sticking out. But, you know, it, 
is fine. It's 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 a lot of theming there, and uh, yeah, more uh, more of that uh, rock work is going up on the uh, fireplace on the uh, the chimney there. So that is very very cool. Uh, and we are going to move right on in to Tree Talk. Yes, it's my favorite segment. I know it's some of your favorite segment. No, no, just me. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, but there are trees here uh, outside of Lazy Bear Lodge. I love it. There are, uh, yeah, uh, a few evergreens and some other, uh, some other trees here. Uh, yeah, love, absolutely love to see that. That is so great. Look at this. I mean, it's it's hard to see through all these plants here. I love it. Yeah. So that does mean, <laughs> I think, that we are getting uh, very, very close to Lazy Bear Lodge opening. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a, a matter of uh, weeks. Um, but uh, I mean, it's, of course, it's a matter of weeks. It's not going to be days, but uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, and I don't, I don't know. It, we'll see what happens. But point is, is that they have more of those uh, uh, yeah, Frontier Canada lampposts there, and they have uh, some rebar ready to go for, I'm assuming, for the sign. Uh, so yes, uh, the sign is, I think, the biggest thing that stands out to me uh, as needing to be done from this side of the building. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll get more shots of the back side of the building in a moment. Uh, but yeah, just really wanted to take a moment to, uh, to have my little happy tree talk here. Getting another look here, still on Skyhawk Hill, and uh, oh my goodness, the tree talk continues. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. Look at look at all these trees and plants and all that uh, all along here. I love it so much. It is fantastic to see. Uh, yeah, very very much. Uh, uh, appreciative of all of this <laughs> and uh, yeah no I am uh, uh, oh man it's it, uh, I love the way that the uh, that there's a mix of different kinds of trees uh, that it's not just you know all like maple trees or something uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah I know that you've got uh, you know these uh, some that are uh, along the balcony and uh, all these along here it is really really fantastic to see all of that being done and yeah overall this is going to look so good here just, just uh, all the nature around it. it it makes my heart so happy i feel like it's been a while since i uh showed up lazy bear lodge from uh this side of uh lake labarge um and it, it's honestly been because using the timberwolf falls exit ramp means that uh, i get to be pretty close but uh, i like to see the trees over there Trees, bushes, whatever they are, I just, ah, I love it. That, ah, that is fantastic. It is so great to see that being done because that is exactly, exactly what I wanted to see there. Quick shot here from the Timberwolf Falls exit ramp uh, splash zone, actually, uh, which uh, does scare me, but I'll get out of here in just a moment. Look at all these trees. It is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to see there. And yeah, it is just looking incredible. That is fantastic. Getting another look from the Timberwolf Falls exit ramp. So many beautiful trees. I love them. Ah, they're just so fantastic. And uh, yeah, just I, uh, I, I love them. Uh, this is actually my, I think, third attempt at, uh, <laughs> at filming this because I keep forgetting to mention that, uh, yes, the patio, <laughs> presumed lower patio, uh, yeah, it's still, it's, it's still not there, so, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, I do, uh, I love seeing the trees here, and I think that that means that we're getting, you know, even closer. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe there's hope for the employee ramp uh, on this side. Still don't know why I'm uh, really hoping for that, but uh, I, I, I am. <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy I am <laughs> to see all of these trees here, but I'm pretty sure you know. <laughs> 
yeah, no, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. Love that. Love it so much. Over here at one of my favorite uh, views in the park, uh, or at least it was. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, it looks a lot different now. Um, and yeah, just looking at all these fabulous trees and other greenery that is here that looks fantastic. Uh, the ramp possibilities, I, I don't know. <laughs> I could see there being, you know, some sort of gate uh, at the back here uh, to let employees uh, head down this way, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not very confident about that. Um, but uh, yeah, most likely that fence will be going straight across here. So since that will likely be the case, um, maybe some more of these uh, trees and whatnot on this side. How about that? I would love that. Over here by the mountain refresh exit, then uh, yeah, just there's a fence here uh, and it is a wooden fence. Uh, I feel like it will probably have you know, some sort of like barbed wire or something uh, at the top to keep people from, uh, you know, just, uh, just as an extra measure of security. Um, and uh, yeah, there is a gate here. So, yep, there's no possibility that guests will be able to walk on this side. Um, but the other interesting details here, uh, these, I believe, are the barbecue pits. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and yeah, so that is very, very interesting. I, I guess that's how they'll be. I don't know, are, are they supposed to go further into the building or, or is that where they sit? I don't know, <laughs> but it does explain why there, uh, there were so many holes in the uh, back of the wall here. Uh, so yeah, that is very, very interesting. And uh, yeah, we are, we are definitely getting closer. Over here, under Vortex's first drop. Uh, yeah, just getting a look at uh, this fence here. Uh, not a huge fan of it, but uh, you know, I mean, it's 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 fine. Uh, I guess it's nicer than the chain link fence. I, I don't know. Um, but also, I just realized that the uh, the gate that is right there. That is the reason for that giant hole in the ground there. So uh, yeah, mystery solved. Looking through a gap in the scrim here, then you can see uh, plants in the planter with a rock. And uh, yeah, it looks like there are rocks in some of the other planters as well. I can't really get a good uh, shot of them, but uh, yeah. And also uh, what uh, we, uh, I believe is going to be the bar, then that is, uh, looks like the bar is starting to take shape. Woohoo! If ever there was proof that uh, I get very distracted by uh, Yukon Striker, no, by trees, <laughs> ironically enough, uh, then uh, yeah, this, this is case in point right here. There is a bear right over here and I almost didn't notice it because I was so distracted by the trees. Look at that. Uh, he's, he or she is ready to be put up somewhere <laughs> along uh, uh, somewhere around Lazy Bear Lodge and I love it. It is so cute. It, it's dad. It's, it's amazing. So I can't leave today without uh, mentioning that the, uh, the Wish Trees uh, in support of Sick Kids Hospital is, uh, uh, is an, an amazing um, initiative that is going on here at the park. Uh, you can spend, uh, I believe it is $5 for one ribbon or uh, or get five ribbons for $20. Uh, they have some other uh, options as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you get to uh, fill out a wish on one of your ribbons, uh, or on all of your ribbons. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, and so like I filled out this one. Uh, it says, uh, I wish this initiative inspires many people to give generously. And uh, yeah, then you just uh, tie it onto the tree somewhere. Uh, I will uh, attempt to do so while holding my camera. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, just find an empty space, tie it on, and then uh, people can uh, yeah come around and uh, read whatever um, uh, whatever you have written. Um, and yeah, all the uh, 
uh, the net uh, money, net proceeds, goes to Sick Kids Hospital, and I cannot tie this one-handed. This is this this is embarrassing, um, but <laughs> that's all right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's that's very very loose. I'll tighten it in a minute. But uh, yeah, I do want to encourage all of you to come and uh, yeah donate to Sick Kids. Uh, there are all sorts of amazing prizes. And uh, yeah, overall, it is just such a great initiative. Uh, so please, please, please do uh, come out and uh, support Sick Kids Hospital. And hey, if you can't make it to the park, um, but you still want to donate, then you can do it online. So uh, yeah, go to uh, canvaswonderland.com, check out, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to throw a link in the description of this video. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can fill out, uh, you know, whatever you'd like. Um, uh, I believe you can fill out whatever you'd like to be put on the ribbons and then they will uh, put the ribbons up for you. So uh, yeah, so you do have that option as well. Um, and yeah, so that uh, this is running until August 16th and that's when they will have the draw for the amazing uh, prizes that they have. So yeah, do make sure to come out and uh, support this uh, amazing initiative. All right, everyone, it is getting toward the end of the video, and you all know what that means. It is time for Trivia Time! Yes, and so for this week's Trivia Time, I want you to let me know in the comments below, how tall is Wonder Mountain? I know, it's an easy one, but uh, you know what? It, maybe some people don't know, and uh, once I uh, reveal the answer next week, then they will know. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that. Uh, so yes, do let me know that in the comments below. And a huge shout out to SMG who correctly stated that there are currently 16 BNM dive coasters in the world. And yes, I agree, that is too few. They, uh, uh, they, they, they are such great rides. And uh, I think that, yeah, they, they, oh, a lot of parks could benefit from, uh, from getting one. So yes, that, uh, yeah, that'll do it for trivia time. And that'll about do it for this week here at the park. Now, I just, <laughs> today did not go the way that I had originally thought it would, but that is okay because it went so much better. Uh, I got to hang out with four of the guys from coaster101.com. Those guys are absolutely amazing. Had a fantastic time hanging out with them. And uh, yeah, I, I did run away from them for a little bit to, uh, you know, to update on Lazy Bear Lodge, which is, uh, you know, it, it is coming along. I love, 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 love seeing all those trees. And uh, speaking of trees, the Wish Trees um, for the Sick Kids fundraiser, those are looking fantastic. Lots of ribbons already on them. Uh, and I'm sure lots more will be added uh, very, very soon. I hope that all of you are able to, uh, to donate um, and uh, yeah, you know, even if you're not able to get to the park, then uh, yeah, do do donate online. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's a fantastic cause. And uh, yeah, it's just a really really great visual thing here uh, at the park. So yeah, make sure to do that. And uh, I think that'll about do it. So until next time, as always, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.